1999 Mastercraft 205V. Fuel injected, freshly rebuilt motor. So the odometer, basically zero hours, but it says 200 on there. Um, towards the transom here, you've got the nice teak platform, very Mastercraft like. Uh, but uh, colors on this gonna be white hull, uh, black accent stripe uh, with the black Mastercraft logos there. Big zero flex flyer tower. So this would be a great entry level wake boat um, just with that extra um, tow point on top just helps you uh, get out of the water a little easier. So um, and you also have another ski pylon on the back. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and jump on into this 1999 Mastercraft 205V and take a look at the interior. 1999. Mastercraft Pro Star 205V. So this boat is pretty pretty simple. Uh, not a lot going on here, um, which can be a good thing. Uh, so right now we're on the sun pad here on the back. Uh, right now I'm looking at uh, just the way the sun pad sits here on the back. I'll give you a better better idea of what we're looking at here. So just an old boat. It has a uh, Kind of distorted um, with the amount of use that the thing has um, so uh, you just have some wings popping up here and here um, but not really a not really too big of a concern um, still pretty darn good good looking sun pad i mean uh, the only thing would be uh small splits well i wouldn't call them small but splits here on the back um cracking there um, got a little bit coming out here back here nice teak platform spot for your stern light so we'll jump in taking a look underneath we got our life jacket packs got a cover for the boat um, and the engine I believe it is a 5.7 liter 300 horsepower um, it is fuel injected one of the first, I believe. Um, ski pylon here, uh, but you also have the tower. So, nice, big and tall tower for this Mastercraft. Um, it's very tall. Um, so let's get inside. Uh, we'll take a look here. We have carpet uh, as our flooring. Um, it's in relatively good condition. Uh, you got a couple stains over here. Um, looks like Somebody just left some gear on the ground for a while. That's tough to see, there you go. Um, rear seat back here. Um, I'd say it's pretty nice condition. I mean, sun fading, uh, you got some spots throughout the seat, but for a 99, looks pretty good. Nice Mastercraft stitching here. It's like a felt um, on the back seat though. We do have a little split here, gouge. Um, and then starboard side, little gouge over here, right next to the speaker. Um, slightly faded ProStar graphic, but get in uh, to the cockpit area. Uh, we got our helm seat here. Definitely had some use. So in here you've got cracking on the back of the seat here. And then as you look up though, on the, the seat backing. It's not too bad. Uh, the back side is pretty good. There's just one little abrasion here, but I don't know if it's fully broken through. Um, OB seat, definitely uh, some usage here. Pretty simple. Um, one battery and uh, open storage. And then the little handrail here, I guess, for the OB seat definitely has some wear so but the good thing is is people have been sitting there so um, this boat's awesome on the water as you see so we uh we did replace the gauges here well not the gauges but uh these were uh the tacks were not working and so we went ahead and threw a perfect pass on here so um these will not read but your perfect pass is uh, new on this boat and certainly a game changer to have perfect pass volts oil pressure engine temp 
those are all working fuel gauge depth finder and then your clarion head unit controls uh, all your accessory switches down here you get your horn um, but uh, for the most part the accessory switches um, at least on the left aren't quite I don't, I don't think all of them are used so um, have a couple options there uh, but right here you got blower and then you have your uh, lights and bilge in the middle key ignition throttle and before we get to the bow nice big ski locker so right here got our little uh, glove compartment good storage there clarion head unit the bow is pretty simple um, we do have some splits here front seat there a couple splits here on this seat and uh, a couple splits over here but there is storage under every single seat so if you need storage there's tons up here in the bow but the carpet here snap in so if you need to remove the bow carpet to maybe clean up or whatever you can do that um, a little bit of stain in here on these seats overall though this boat's in pretty good shape uh, i believe the hours the hours on the tack say 206 um it'd be awesome if it was 206 um i'm gonna go with that for now and if i'm wrong preston will correct me um but yeah i think this is a pretty simple package uh you know it'd be a great starter wake boat you got your tower and the V-Drive boats are great for starter wake boats just because you have that extra weight in the rear. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some running footage of this 1999 Mastercraft Pro Star 205V. All right, calling in the Pro Star 205. Tight turn radius. Solid through the waves. There you have it, 205V, ready and available to hit the water. Hit us up at N3 Boatworks for more info.